Proverbs 31 verse 3 tells us, Do not give your strength to women, nor your ways to that which destroys kings. Delilah in Judges 16 was a Philistine who was bribed to entrap Samson and to persuade him into revealing that the secret of his strength was his long hair, where upon she took advantage of his confidence to betray him to his enemies. Delilah is beautiful, very attractive. She gains her victory by seduction and working with the other rulers of darkness. She is a witch in disguise. Delilah is very skillful in hiding her agenda in her heart. Her ultimate aim is to weaken your anointing and betray you. The Delilah spirit has characteristics similar to those of Jezebel, such as pride, vanity, and ruthlessness. The spirit of Delilah wants to overthrow true men of God and comes only to kill, steal, destroy, and to keep us from focusing on God so that we fail. The Delilah spirit is like other demons such as Leviathan, Kundalini, Ahab, and Python spirit. Spirit of Delilah is designed to destroy all men and women of prominence. People with a purpose in life, any pastor or leader who is in ministry. She uses relationships to discover her victim's strength so that she can destroy them, draining out their spiritual power and ultimately removing them from God's work. Do you know how to recognize the Delilah spirit in your life? The spirit of Delilah is a monitoring spirit. People with that spirit are hunters of information about you with the purpose and intention to harm you. They want to know everything about you, not because they care or love you, but because they have hating agendas. Delilah is highly skilled in controlling people through seduction, which she accomplishes with flattery, with praises, with friendship and sexual advances. Even the strongest of Christians can be charmed by her. Delilah loves money. She is the modern day gold digger, but only far wiser and refiner than the average money seeker today. With one need or another, she'll financially drain her victim. Delilah is captivating, enchanting and exciting and charming. She is beautiful and lively. She has a sweet personality. She knows what a man wants and she knows how to make a man feel good. Delilah is very selfish. She's not here for love or relationship. She's there for herself and what she stands to gain for herself. Also, she is sometimes in relationship to prove something to others. Delilah is very manipulative. She practices witchcraft. She is cunning and likes playing games in relationships. She knows and understands a woman's power of influence and abuses that power to fulfill her agenda. Delilah does not like to be under authority and she loves to have her way. She is educated, she is confident, she knows her rights and she does what she wants. And she does not want to submit to a man. She wants to be independent and wants to have control in a relationship. She manipulates her men a lot. She can make you feel lonely, frustrated and depressed. Delilah will lead you gradually to your death. As she secretly pursues her agenda, then she will leave you for good after she is done with you. If God is not on your side, you will never get back on your feet again. Delilah is a promiscuous woman. She loves to flirt with men. She loves power. So seeing men competing and giving her all their attention makes her feel powerful and influential. Delilah is a hypocrite, a pretender. She lives a fake life. She is not who she claims or appears to be on the outside. She's a good actress. She only plays the role she thinks you want to see when she's with you. If you are a woman and you live your life like this, I will ask you today to repent. And if you are a man going out with a woman like this, start running for your life because it's going to be too late if you don't. Tonight we are going to pray to remove the spirit of Delilah out of our lives in Jesus name. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I praise you for who you are. You are mighty and victorious over all my enemies. Your eye sees all the injustice I have suffered at the hands of Delilah. I ask for your forgiveness for agreeing with any Philistine stronghold. In each area where the enemy has built a fortress, I ask that you tear down every stronghold with your divine power. In areas where I have allowed the seducing spirit of Delilah to influence my thoughts and actions, I ask you to forgive me. I dethrone Satan's power over me by choosing to follow you fully and obey your commands. I repent of other areas of my life where I have come into agreement with Satan's seductions. Lord, empower me with your divine strength and restore me to the joy of my salvation. I realize that you alone are my strength. There is no one like you, Lord. 
I now take the keys of the kingdom and unlock the doors to my financial freedom, my deliverance and breakthrough. With those keys, I lock out every seducing spirit and every evil assignment in every area of my life that is unpleasing to you. I repent of unfulfilling vows and I declare today that I am becoming empowered to fulfill your will for my life. Thank you that I am set free because of the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on my behalf. I thank you that as you did for Samson, you will do also for me. My Father, shower mercy and forgiveness upon me and my marriage altar in the name of Jesus. My Father, I cover my home and my marriage with the blood of Jesus. Every delight of spirit standing against the breakup of my marriage, you cannot succeed in Jesus' name. Father Lord, deliver my spirit and soul from the bondage of this strange woman in the name of Jesus. My marriage should not be controlled by any strange women in the name of Jesus. My home is fully protected. Every Delilah spirit working against my relationship and the manifestation of, of my marriage be exposed and disgraced in Jesus' name. My Father, whatever the Delilah spirit has used or done to steal from me, let it catch fire and burn to dust in Jesus' name. Any Delilah spirit program against my marriage it will turn double disappointment and frustration in the name of Jesus. Every evil trauma of the Delilah spirit operating in my family and our properties catch fire and backfire tonight in Jesus' name. Every secret plan of the Delilah spirit to set me up in my marriage, I destroy your plans today in Jesus' name. Every power assigned to pollute my matrimonial bed, I set you ablaze. I cover my home and my matrimonial bed with the blood of my Lord Jesus Christ. This bed is for me and my wife, and not a third party. Every effort of the Delilah spirit to invest in charms, let it backfire in the name of Jesus. My Father, any Delilah spirit that is using fetish power on me, I scatter her body and organ and I set it ablaze in the name of Jesus. Any strange association between Delilah spirit and my family, be scattered now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Let your name and power paralyze all activities of this evil spirit against my marriage in Jesus' name. By the power and the blood of Jesus, expose all this secret of this Delilah spirit in the name of Jesus. Use strange powers from the bottom of the river, under rock, under evil trees and graveyard, a sign against my marriage, be roasted by fire in Jesus' name. I scatter by fire every selfish prayer of the Delilah spirit to destroy my family in Jesus' name. The expectation of the evil woman to cause strife and hatred between me and my wife shall not stand or come to fruition in the mighty name of Jesus. Every power saying no way to my marriage, I say no way to your operations in my life in Jesus' name. Every evil spirit using strange dream to trouble my peace, I command you and your evil bird to die by fire in Jesus' name. I call for divine separation between every destiny destroyer and myself in the name of Jesus. I have been created for a purpose. I pray by the authority of heaven that my purpose of existence shall not be destroyed in the name of Jesus. From now on, I begin receiving direction from God in the name of Jesus. My life begins to get shaped in the mighty name of Jesus. To God be all the glory. Amen.